Let's try to make a good YouTube video today, huh? Pants, pantalones, trousers, bottoms, pantalon. You can't live with them and you can't live without them. Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew What to Do, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five things that you need to know to make sure your pants, trousers, bottoms last longer. If you get any value in this video, even if it was that awkward intro, click the like button. Let's get into the video. The number one thing on this list, the first item on this list, is to not wash your pants if you want to keep them looking as clean and as good as long as possible. Yes, I know you're probably thinking that doesn't make a lot of sense, but trust me, it does. Let me explain. See, each time you wash your pants, it deteriorates little by little. The spin cycle, just the nature of washing machines will deteriorate the fibers of the pant so that every time you wash them, they get a little bit less in quality every single time. Modern day washing machines are incredibly efficient, but they do leave a little bit of residual damage to the garment after each watch. Also, I know in American society, I don't know if it's true for all societies across the world, but we overwash our clothing in my opinion. If we wear something for three hours or for two hours and then we throw it in the wash for this week's wash it doesn't necessarily need to be washed wash your clothes when it's absolutely necessary and they'll last longer look better on body and that's kind of what you want to achieve when you buy a pair of pants trousers a bottom you want to keep them looking as good as you can for as long as possible the ceo and president of levi's chip burr i think that's how you say his name said and i paraphrase when it comes to washing your jeans never wash them that's what he said he said never to wash them <laughs> and especially with jeans obviously jeans are a little bit of a tougher fabric i'm wearing dickies right now and i've honestly never washed any of my dickies that i've worn so far and i wear them a ton and you know for me i keep them clean obviously i keep my drawers clean I keep my underwear clean is what i'm trying to say and everything kind of just flows together and looks really nicely with my dickies and i wear them a ton well you might be thinking to yourself hey drew you know i spilled ketchup on my classic levi 501s or I farted one too many times in my jeans. I have to wash these things. They stink, they smell, I have to wash my pants. <laughs> I get it, I understand. As I said before, each time you wash your jeans, they deteriorate a little bit, but there's a way to kind of mitigate that deterioration process when you go to wash your jeans or pants or whatever. So number two on this list that feeds into number one is when you wash your pants, your pantalones, your bottoms, make sure you wash them inside out. So just picture a washing machine right now with me right now, okay? You throw your jeans, you throw your Levi's, your Dickies, your Wranglers, your whatever, your vintage pair of whatever, and you just throw them in there and they go through the spin cycle. A lot of times people don't think about this, but when you throw them in there, the actual outterior, the top side of the pant is facing and, and taking the bulk of the damage if you just throw them in there without any conscious thought, right? But if you flip them inside out, what you do is, like I said, you mitigate the ability of the pant to take damage from the washing machine and you make the pant last a little bit longer, feel a bit fresher, um, and just not have it bang up against the walls of a washing machine as much. The inside can look a little bit damaged and no one will see, but obviously the outside is what you want to keep kind of looking as good as, as possible right and to be honest i pretty much do this with all applicable clothing whether it be hoodies or shirts or whatever i try to wash it inside out especially if there's like a design or a graphic or embroidery on one side you want to keep that stuff looking as clean and as fresh as possible washing you know your bottoms your pants inside out is going to make sure and help mitigate that damage that it takes from being washed in a washing machine take those fibers and it'll just look better in the long run all right let's move on to number three the third one is after you You've washed your pants inside out do not dry them in the dryer if you care about the sizing if you care about your pant man just don't wash it in the dryer i am so sorry i have no idea why i just said that you know what i meant imagine the washing machine damaging your your pants or your garments the dryer is a washing machine times five when it comes to the ability to affect the size and the fit of your garment with a lot of textiles when you put them under a lot of heat um, especially in like a dryer drying machine they compress and they kind of shrink down and that's why you have you know resizing that's why when you dry something or in the dryer and it, and it goes down a size it's because that heat is really pulling all those fibers together and it's compressing it and making it 
something completely different than what you originally had bought, right? This is absolutely one of the worst things that happen to your pants, your bottoms, or your trousers is you have a great fitting pair of pants. You've worn them for, let's say, a good period of time. Like you've worn them for a month and a half and they're really dirty. You have to clean them, obviously. You have to wash them, get the dirt, the grime out. They smell bad. You wash them inside out. You do the things you need to do. And then you put them in the dryer and you just forget about them and they dry for so like an hour or something like that and you take them out and your pant size which was a a, a 33 34 turns into a 32 30 and you're like what the heck just happened <laughs> you don't want that to happen at all especially with you know vintage levi's or with dickies or with carhartt whatever kind of pants you have isei miyaki whatever whatever you just don't want that to happen make sure when you going to dry something what you should do is you should either air dry it or if you have a tumble dry low set where the, it doesn't like circle so much and it kind of just keeps the fabric very delicate have that setting on when you dry that'll just help your pants your bottoms your garments your etc etc last as long as they possibly can number four on this list is storage of your garments and how you take care of them obviously when you're not using them i wanted to throw this in as a no-brainer but if you take pride in the things that you own make sure they're folded up nicely or hung on a hanger nicely and you just take the care that you need in order to make sure your garments last longer they'll last longer i mean it's, it's not rocket science right for me for my storage what i do is i just make sure that all of my pants especially are folded nicely i have a denim section i have like dickies pants i have carhartt pants essentially and i've just folded in sections and i just kind of stack them up in my closet you can fold them or you can hang them on a hanger like i said previously just take pride in your things man and they'll last longer and you'll appreciate them more a little side tip before we get into number five is wear your clothes often right regularly essentially if you wear your clothes regularly that's also something that you know i've noticed the more i wear something the more it just kind of acquiesces to my body the more it adheres to my body type and it just feels better especially if i have the right size and i have the right fit that i desire if i wear it regularly i just have a confidence about me i feel better and it just i'm just living a better life <laughs> all right last but not least we have number five the fifth thing that you want to do to make sure that you can keep your pants your bottoms lasting as long as possible is to to always try to choose quality over quantity, right? Seems like a no-brainer as well, but quality over quantity is gonna boast well for you. Let me talk about it. Comes to clothing, I'm always in search of quality, and I think you should be too. Obviously, the price point of a lot of fast fashion brands are very pro are very alluring, right? They want you to see the replica of a high fashion house at a low price and draw you in to think that you can own and wear the same thing as you know a Louis Vuitton graphic tee or a pant. Um, for $15 and in reality the quality of the pieces out something like an H&M or a Forever 21 only lasts you you know weeks months if that and that's for me why I kind of gravitated towards American workwear and just workwear in general when it comes to bottoms um, and the classic kind of Levi jeans because you know the more research I did the more I realized how tried and true they are and how much they really last the test of time the Levi's made now and, and the workwear made now probably isn't of the same quality grade as it was you know back in the 60s 70s, 80s, etc., 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 90s, whatever. And um, but still, you know, those companies still pride themselves on workwear, creating garments for people, um, and creating things that are meant to last a longer time. You know, in harsh conditions. And of course, you can always go to that even next level of quality designer pieces, designer bottoms, trousers, and pants. Those kind of things are just going to be that next next level of craftsmanship, fit, finish. And I haven't necessarily talked about those as much on the channel. And I would love to at some point down the line, maybe not even this year i mean it's it's about progression right so like wherever you are with your pants if you're buying levi's if you're buying isei miyaki trousers if you're buying dickies a74s or carhartt you know cargos or whatever you're buying you can use these five things to help make sure your pants help make sure your pantalones last as long as they possibly can and i guarantee you'll get more value out of your purchase if you do these things and just show a little bit of pride in your clothing and it'll go a long way if you know about any other tips or tricks down in the comment section to make sure your pants last longer please leave them down there this is a community and if you enjoyed today's videos like the video man if you if you really enjoyed it subscribe i post content pertaining to sneakers fashion art and culture pretty much weekly um i had to dial it back this week because we had a drop for the brand edward joiner i would love to have you be a part of the community connect with me on instagram at drew joiner underscore and as always i'm spreading peace love and positivity in 2021 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day and
I got a new pair of sneakers, guys. If you can name, oh my gosh, if you can name these sneakers down in the comment section, uh, then I'm not gonna do anything for you, but if you can do it, you're real <laughs> or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, man. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.